Is having more than you need a blessing or is it a curse? In this week's Parsha, Parsha Re'e, we open up with this idea. The Parsha says, I present before you today a blessing and a curse. And Moses goes on to say, if you follow the rules of God, you will be blessed. But if you don't, a curse upon you. Now he goes on to talk about how you'll be cursed if you follow other gods. So how can you avoid that? Today, we worship at the Temple of Consumerism. Unfortunately, I've been there too. It's really hard to resist the allure of something shiny and new. It's really hard when you have disposable income and things are so cheap to say, I can pass on that. I don't need those new sneakers. I don't need that new phone. I don't need a new dress. And it's hard because we always think we need something. We think we're entitled to it. We have the money, so we should buy it because it's available to us. But having more won't necessarily make you happier. It won't make you richer and it won't save you time, money, or energy. In fact, having more usually sucks more time, energy, and space from your life. How can we avoid worshiping at the temple of consumerism? It's tricky. There are some things that I've done to help me on my journey to organization and to also make sure that I'm not over consuming. First, I shop with a list. Last week I needed to buy a pair of stockings because I was going to an event where it was required. Because I've lost so much weight recently, I didn't have any pairs that actually fit. In fact, I didn't have any pairs at all. Went to the mall to buy a pair of stockings. And I walked out of the mall with only a pair of stockings. And even though I went window shopping and looked around the mall for a good amount of time, and there are things there that I did want to buy, I stopped myself. Those things weren't on my list, so I looked at them. And I said to myself, if I still want these tomorrow, I can come back and get them. And guess what? They weren't important enough to me to go back and buy them. So the second thing that I do that helps me is I delay gratification. Yeah, I went to the mall and I saw something that I wanted, but it wasn't what was on my list and I didn't actually need it. If I would have really wanted it after 24 hours or 48 hours, if I was still thinking about that I really wanted it, I could have gone back to get it, but I didn't need to. It wasn't something that I actually needed. And I was able to walk out of the mall with just what I needed without overspending and sticking to my list. And the third thing that I do is when I do bring something new into my house, something old leaves my house. One of the things that I saw that I really wanted was a new headscarf. And even though I really liked it, if I would have brought in another one, that would have meant that I would have gotten rid of an older one. By observing the one in and one out rule, I am able to respect my space more because I'm not overfilling it. And I'm able to see what I have clearly, which helps me maintain organization. That really helps me manage my time better because when I'm not managing my stuff, I'm able to focus better on the things, people around me that I love. As we enter Shabbat this week, I urge you to consider how you can stop worshiping at the temple of consumerism. Maybe this coming week, you won't buy anything new except for food that you need. Maybe this week you can go through some of your things and see what you actually need and what you don't need. Passing on your blessing to somebody else is also a really important tenet in this week's Parsha where we are urged to give tzedakah until the person's needs are fulfilled. Pass your blessing on to somebody else. Maybe it wasn't meant for you in the first place. I also urge you to consider this week, what do you really need? I know that letting go can be difficult. But when you have a clear space, it frees you up in so many ways. It frees up your space, frees up your time, it frees up your energy, and it allows you to spend time doing the things that you love. As we go into Shabbat this week, I encourage you, think about how we can expand our blessing. Shabbat Shalom.